Right, this is Sheila. It's the 4th of January 2016. First time I've said that on video. Chelsea won the football the other day. Yesterday, 3-0 against Crystal Palace. They've got to work really hard. Got um, another manager they've had before. Jose Mourinho was unfortunately booted out. Um, for some reason, um, the some of the players didn't like him. And um, they, they wouldn't play properly. That's what happens, isn't it? Anyway. I've had a lovely Christmas. I saw her stayed for about ten days. She stayed for Christmas and New Year. With Maggie. And we had a lovely time. Lots of lovely food. Lots of lovely food. Under the branch I go. Georgia's not been well. She's had a cold for three weeks, but then they have been enjoying festivities, partying and dancing and whatever. It does take it out of you. I've often found that with Christmas. You, it does. It, you get exposed to lots of people as well. You get exposed. There's a runner coming. Don't know if it's a bloke. Seen a couple of people out. I don't mind walking in this mud, look. This is Sheila in Western Woods, by the way. I was on the beach doing this with me buddies not long ago. I'm like a child walking in all this mud. Someone's gonna walk by in a minute. I'm gonna have to turn my bloody camera off. Ah, it's a lovely day though. somebody oh. I remember my running days ah, it's lovely I can only walk now somebody just run past oh, I used to love going out in the mud my running days years ago. Yeah. Doing that. Brave, isn't she? As well. My Joni comes up here sometimes. Wouldn't it be funny if I'd met her up here now? New Year's for everyone. New starts. Well, you know, the world's still a mess. Saudi Arabia have executed about 30 people the other day, causing a lot of trouble with Iran now. Some, um, I think he's some Shia bloke, I don't know, it might be the other side. I don't know, but anyway, he was a, quite a big chief, you know. <sighs> yeah, they still have executions, they're not moved forward very much. Right, they might let a few women become equivalent to members of parliament. But uh, they're still very slow at women's liberation. We're human beings, you know. We make up 50% of the population. I don't know, just because we bear children, which is a very brave thing to do in this world. But we've seen as vulnerable and weak. Often we're not. It's a terrible world we live in, and in, in the UK, we live in a bit of a bubble, um, which wants some ISIS want to break. Um, I don't know why they have to be. I just don't understand this inequality stuff. I really don't. We've all been put on this planet as Earthlings. It's like one woman who lived 209 said the other day. She said, "If you want to live a long time." Do it without men. That's what she said. I haven't got nothing against them. And I don't want to be one either. Just because I'm independent, you get accused of everything. And you're an independent woman. Because you don't need a man. Yeah, Joni. Well, you get accused of everything, put it that way. Um... 
I've been told I was too independent. I remember that. Oh, so you had the life I'd had with the mother down at 14. Orphaned. So I never knew my dad very well. You'd have to grow up very, very quickly. I wasn't protected by nobody. I hate it when people say that to me. So I think to myself, how dare you say that to me? You're too independent. You've got to be when you're surviving, you stupid cow. So it was a woman that said it. Anyway, I shouldn't say that. I should edit that bit out. But I felt like a bit of... Like I had to. There's a bloke coming right down there, zoom in. So this is the trouble, you go for a walk. You just have to watch everyone you meet. And... I can't tell if that's a woman or a bloke. It's going very slow. I'm just keeping an eye on him, I don't know if you can see me. Okay, he's a nutter. Oh, you've got a dog. Oh, it's someone else walking by now. Go back. So I said, you have to be wary when you're out in the woods. Not far from the water tower, which is just in there now. There's the water tower. On top of Whirlbury Woods I am. Not the very top, but close as I can get. Birds singing. And in the state of the world, well, like I said, it's uh, absolutely horrendous in um, Syria. People, innocent people, are being murdered. They're bombed by the French, by us, by the Russians. Absolutely horrendous is going on. It's the ordinary people that are getting smashed to bits. And we're being threatened by this terrible group of people. Um, who've been fed by us, armed by us. It's disgusting, the whole thing. Alright, we just go up here now. See, that's a funny bit of rock there, look. probably a bit of Roman cement. I'm making my way, my way out with the wood in a minute. Joining up some main tracks and then um, going to check on my camper van, Albert, and then go get some milk. Then home for faggots and mash and peas. Here 
There's the main track. I often go off the main track. There. Very boggy. And there's a concrete one as well for wheelchairs and prams and pushchairs and bikes. Although the mountain bikers use this. At least I know my wellies are waterproof. Here's the concrete path that if you want. It's not too bad, I mean it hasn't been done up for a long time. That takes you right up to the Iron Age Fort. Oh, I reckon I've just seen that woman. She must have gone round and run like crazy up here. I've just seen her. She must really be a fast runner, I think. Looked identical. She must have done that corner back there and then bombed it up here. Right. Bit of mossy wood, I think. Yeah, a bit of mossy wood. Doing well, because it's so mild, the weather. Apparently the North Pole reached a temperature of 50 degrees. First time ever recorded. Or it's 50 degrees warmer, not 50 degrees. 50 degrees warmer than it's ever been recorded um, for some reason because all this um, warm air that's been going up the Almenio, or what you call it that's been going up has caused the North Pole to slightly melt and the South Pole apparently is growing ice now I believe this is a natural phenomenon that happens all the time it's got nothing to do with global warming. It's a natural phenomenon and it shows our planet is alive. It's just redistributing the water because if you think about it, there's drought, there's deserts, there's loads and loads of um, dehydrated parts of the planet that need watering again. So, what the planet's decided to do if it's top heavy is send up a bit of warm air, start redistributing the water. Now, as it's doing that, there is flooding everywhere, and that's what we're getting. As it's melting a bit out the top, we're getting a lot of water. And um, it will eventually even itself out. And then you'll get an ice age. You'll get an ice age eventually. Or we, before that, we could turn in the top part of our planet. Could be like Australia. Hot. There's 43 degrees in there, over there at the moment. But they have forest fires, so there's always something. Right, so I'm going to be carrying on down this track now. Which I do loads of times. I've done loads of times in Pizarro with the Daisy and Amber, um, with Brandy. Comes out some, by some steps, and then I go and check on my van. Right, over and out, everyone. <laughs>